All right, we're back to this white tail. What we're gonna go? Come on, Toby, you get out of here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get the nose split out here. What I do is I put it over a fleshing beam, and you can see the nose cartilage here. We'll just go ahead and what I do is I split that right down the middle, like so. And I'll, I'll take this off of here and I'll show you. And you just split that. You can see it kind of coming apart. And you just, wherever it's real fatty, you can feel it. Put your finger in there. Just go ahead and hit it with your knife. And you can feel that. This look like uh, blowflies. Sometimes a deer will have that in their nostrils. But anyway, here we go. We got that. And what we're doing is they call this splitting the nose, turning the nose. And you just get that, just keep working it around like so. And pretty soon, you keep cutting it, and it'll just kind of undo itself. Now what you do is, when you get ready to really get this nose ready to go, you take a flushing horn like so, this flushing horn, put it up inside of here, and then you can really get that nose turned out. But we aren't going to do that right now. We're just going to give you a quick overview of that, but anyway, you just keep it. What we're doing, we're getting this ready to saw, and that way... I got a guy cutting wood. Hopefully you can you can do this. But. And then what we're going to do is we're going to we got the nose pretty good. Enough for salting anyway. You see that? How oh, it's just kind of coming. And uh, and then you can see where, where the nose. I'll turn it inside out here. See that? You can see that. And then, when after we salt this, we'll do more detail work on that. Now we want to get the lips. And what you do is you just cut down along the side here. You just keep same way. Just keep splitting it down. Put your finger underneath, and you can feel that lip muscle right here, right in here. There's a real thick muscle. And what you do is you just go ahead and just keep cutting down and you'll uh, end up with that lip split and you just go all the way around like that now and, that, and then you just go all the way around with that and trim off that heavy stuff and you can do that all you want to make sure you do it all the way around that way your salt gets in there and what I'm going to do now I know you can get that, so what I'm going to do now is the eyes, and you'll see that your eyes have a real, what you want to do is you want to get, there's a real big muscle right above the eye here, and you want to get that muscle off a couple inches all the way around there. So what I do is I take my fleshing horn here, and I put that ball up here, like so, and you can just go ahead and you can see that, just peel that baby. Just kind of work her forward slow, because you don't want to cut, you don't want to get too close to that eyelid right from here. What we're doing is we're just going to get that baby thinned out a little bit so the salt can get in there. See, there's quite a lot of meat on there. And this will make or break a deer is the eye detail work. Here we are. Here's the eyes, right here. And this is above the eye here. You can see this muscle. I'm going to go ahead and go right down on the edge here. And I'm going to peel that muscle right off of there. Now if you get too deep, you'll hit some eyelashes maybe, or some longer hairs that are above the eye. But anyway. See that? And here's the tear duct right here. And there's some, some pretty good meat around that tear duct too, so we'll 
we'll do is we'll thin that out right there. Yeah. Don't give that salt a chance to penetrate that. And there you go, there's your eye done. Get a little bit more of this fat off of here. And you've got your eye cleaned up pretty good. Salt can get in there good. And then you take off your bigger pieces of meat in your hide here. You turn your you turn this inside out. Now see this was done this one done at the locker. You got your meat here, like so. What I do is I use a a skinning knife. And you can take and get that right off of there. If you want to use a this uh, now most most beginning taxidermists won't have a fleshing beam or a knife or a fleshing knife, so you can put this over a piece of four inch pipe or six inch PVC pipe and get it and you can just shave that right off of there. But you want to get this heavy stuff before you salt it. The salt won't get through there. Especially the fat. That's kind of like a sealer on it. And you get that nice and clean and then when you salt that you'll get salt in there and it'll turn out real nice. And then we'll mount this deer up later and we'll make another video on that.